Hey guys, it's Chin again from the Pendit, and today I'm in the same billet hall classroom wearing the same clothes because I'm recording like five minutes after I finished recording the video for the Lamy Ultra Safari and Vista. And today I'll be going over the Pilot Custom 74 with a music nib. Now, this pen does come in extra fine, fine, soft, fine, medium, fine, medium, broad, and also a music nib. But I'll talk about the rest in another video. And I'll only focus on the music nib because this is a piece of work. I, this is a piece of work and it deserves its own video. Okay, so the, it's, I'm gonna go over the pen real quick, tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And then I'm gonna go through an in-depth review of the pen and then to a rank sample, okay? Now, this is a very simple, classic cigar-shaped pen that's nice in the hand. It's a pretty nice weight. It posts well. It doesn't, you know, back away the pen as much. I, it's a pretty long pen, so I kind of have it unposted. And I tend to use it for signatures just because of the nib. But you can use it for everyday writing if your handwriting is like ginormous or if like you really like wet stubs. It's a very classic design. It has, it's a black pen with gold embellishments on it. I don't think it's available in any other color, but I might be wrong down the line. We'll see about that. I'm recording this as of June of 2018. We'll see if there's different colors going around for the music nibs, but unlikely. Now, these music nibs can be switched out with regular nibs if you just want the body of the pen. But like, why would you? Like you, you, you buy the pen for the nib and then you buy another pen because you don't get these nibs separately. So you already have another pen. So, eh. Okay, so let us go from top to bottom and I'll tell you what I like about this pen, what I don't like about this pen, and then we're gonna do a writing sample, okay? Now, the cap is, again, super simple pen, a rounded cap right below that. There's a trim ring, which transitions into the pilot cap, pilot clip, sorry, which is like a triangle clip with a blob at the end. It's like the Monteverde clips, but slightly more springy. It, it can be sprung open like this and shoved in a pocket. It can be just shoved in the pocket the way it is, but a very thin pocket. And yeah, it's, 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 a, nice, it's a nice clip, it works. What else do you want? Um, the cap tapers out slightly and then it ends and it meets two trim rings, a thin one and a thick one. The thick one says Custom 74 on the front and then Pilot made in Japan at the back. It's slightly beveled out, which you, can feel, it's, it's, it's okay, you don't want to hold a pen and write like this. The second trim ring does taper down a little bit and then transitions into the taper of the cap, which then transitions into like a flat end and transitions into the barrel, which is thin on here and thin here and slightly, just slightly, not by much, just slightly exaggerated, slightly exaggerated, like right down on here. Then it tapers down again to the same thing, to the same finial as the one with the cap with a trim ring, okay? It's a screw cap pen and the screw and the cap just screws off and posts pretty securely. The threads are okay, I guess. They aren't bad. They aren't like the ones on the Twisby Eco, but they're okay. You don't feel them as much, especially the way I hold this pen. Right above the threads, there is a small trim ring that transitions to the section. The trim ring is on the section itself. And now this is a section I really like. It's completely circular, so you can hold it in any orientation you want. It tapers down slightly and then flares out to stop your pen, like to stop, put to stop your fingers from going on the nib when you write. Now the nib is spectacular. The, the scroll work on this is stunning. It doesn't have a breather hole because it has like two, two time, two slits in it, but three times, which is one more slit and one more time than normal everyday fountain pens. I'll show you a normal custom seventy four nib right now. And I'll show you the nib for the Custom 74, the music nib. And it's pretty different. Now the music nib is ground in such a way is there's a big iridium blob and then it just tapers off like this and then it's flat. Actually, let me see if I can show it to you here. I kind of hope you guys see this. So this is a side profile of the nib, okay? It's a side profile. There's just like a whole blob and then it's cut here, cut here, and then cut here and then it's grounded off here. So it's like this. It's like this. And then this is flat, so it's pretty sharp if you write up if you write with the nip side up, the nip side down, sorry. Otherwise for signatures, it's pretty good. You'll see in the rank sample, it performs 
phenomenally well for signatures just because it's such a wet pen. Now, now I've learned a secret with the Custom 74s, which you can absolutely tell everyone who has a Custom 74, this is phenomenally useful. Everyone says that the breather hole is on the feed and it's somewhere at the bottom, but that's not been my experience. There's a small slit for the Custom 74s, especially this music nib, and that is the breather hole. Next time, you, if you have a Custom 74 on you, or if you know someone, try this out. Just submerge the slit on the feed, and then just try filling it from there. It fills and it doesn't actually ink up your whole section, which you have to wipe off, it just inks up the nib. But if you use that a few times, because of the surface area to the number of slits on here, the ink does go out on the page eventually. And the ink actually really goes on the page. You'll see in the writing sample, it's a super wet pen, amazing fit of signatures. I'm just gonna go to the writing sample now and then I'll see you guys soon, cool? Alrighty, so this is a review of the Pilot Custom 74 with a music nib. Now this ink again is Noodler's Apache Sunset. For those of you who haven't seen the Junha 1, sorry, the Junha 599 video, this is what the ink looks like. And this is it against Noodler's Firefly and Noodler's Sunrise, both of which are highlighter inks. Now all three can be used as highlighter inks if you lay down Apache Sunset very gently. Okay, let's continue with the writing sample. Okay, pretty nice nib. Now this nib was originally a crisp italic, but I had it ground to a more cursive italic. So now it's much smoother than it used to be. Okay, let's try on with some flex. Now this nib is rather stubby. So the amount of flex you can see isn't that much, but it actually flexes quite a bit. Let's move on to some more flex. Now this does keep up pretty well because there are two tines in it. So there's almost double the amount of ink that's being pulled through. Okay, let's move on to see how wet this is. Now the side stroke is just as wet as any other normal pen, but if you actually lay ink down on the upstroke and downstroke, it goes a long way. Yeah, you're not gonna get a long, amount, a long writing session with this. What I do like about this pen is it's perfect for signatures. All right, so let's just do signature. Okay, that's my fault. That's gonna be my fault. Let's do one more. Perfect. Now, this pen is kind of stubby, but that's what I like about it when doing signatures. Over here, it's pretty fat, but then on this side, it's pretty thin, and no one, especially people using a ballpoint, it's gonna be very hard for them to let's just say force the signature. If I have a really interesting ink in this, there's no way anyone can do it. And I used to do my signature with stubs before for the same reason, but I found out that stubs don't keep up with the speed of the signature as well as the music nib does, just because there's almost double the number of times. And it really actually helps with the ink flow. All right, that's it for me, and I will see you guys soon. By the way, this stuff is still pretty wet, so. Let's do one more. Yeah, it's very, very wet. Okay, now I'll see you soon. Actually, I'll see you right now. All right, thanks guys. That's it for me for the Pilot Custom 74 with the music nib. And until I see you guys next time, stay safe.